book author Kathleen Goldman, who wrote a book called Puppy Possibilities, demonstrated her puppy training techniques at the Hopkinton Public Library. Eight week old puppy is like, um, is like a little piece of clay and they're yours to shape and mold and we talk about this companion of your dreams. So why not take advantage of not only the size of the puppy, but they're, they're like a little sponge, you know, about the only thing they come pre-programmed with is the desire to please us. So instead of waiting around and letting our puppy make a mistake, we're going to teach our puppies rather than just command that they do our bidding. Command is a word that I don't care for much because it sounds like military boot camp to me and puppy training is not supposed to be military boot camp. It's supposed to be fun. Okay, so swing yourself around so everybody can watch. <laughs> See, she knows where the food is. Don't let her go, I'm gonna give you a leash. And by the way, everybody, this puppy's name is Stokely. She doesn't really know her name yet because she hasn't been around that long. She's only 10 weeks old. So this is just to put on your knees so she doesn't go out in the audience and just keep feeding her. Just let her know. Oh no, okay. Okay, so, so, so Sarah is not a seasoned handler and she doesn't really know how to tuck the piece of cheese in her, uh, between her index finger and her thumb so the puppy is just kind of licking at it and can't really take it out of her fingers and we're going to give you something a little heavier because uh, a little stronger. Um, hey Stokely, okay, sit. Good girl. Now sit is the easiest thing to teach a puppy and then the, the most fun, I'm going to just hop forward to this for a second because she's being very biddable. Stand. Oh, okay, let go for a sec. Oh, nice. Nice. Can you put that foot forward? Put this foot backward. Yeah, that's right. You stand like a show dog. Let's get going. My puppy's already five months old. We're working on all this stuff for such a long time now. I'm just going to skip ahead in the book. No, I'm going to say I really wish you wouldn't do that because, well, we don't know if your puppy understands what's been presented prior to that 100%. So we want to make sure that the puppy proves to us that they understand because in each chapter, in each sequence of the DIY program, it builds on what was previously taught and it gets a little more difficult and a little more difficult. It's kind of like working towards graduation day or the end of the school year or the MCAS, okay? Yep, we have People here in the audience know all about those. So you want to make sure that your puppy can prove things to you before you move forward to this tough stuff. Because if you move too fast and they don't understand, it's not going to be fun. How are you going to get her to you without tugging her? Where are you? Whoops, who are you going to? Front. Give me a good front. Don't give me this. But get out of here with that. Give me a good front. Come on. Get your butt around. Come on. Is that the right? Oh, you did it. Hold it. Every time she moves her mouth, the judge will take off a quarter of a point or a half a point. Good. Oh, this is, I got to give you something for that because that was very hard. Usually we don't feed in between, but this is hard stuff. Ready? Finish. Did you? Oh, you got it back that time. Good girl. Oh, very good. If you give Kiwi a little applause. Yay!